Hey guys, Bad Infos here and these are the 10 best cutscenes in Bully. Trust me when I say originally I had 25 picks and choosing just 10 was a very difficult task because Bully is just that funny and unique. This is all opinion based of course and if you disagree let me know what your list looks like. So without further ado let's begin with the cutscenes. The big prank opens up with Jimmy and Gary conversing in Jimmy's room. Oh, this is a funny cutscene since they're wearing costumes, it's not my pick from the mission. A funnier one is close to the end when you travel to the park and meet a dog. They needed to pull a prank, so what do they do? They make it poop out a large chunk of you know what and then Gary puts it in the back. Yes, in the back, but with his hand. Do you not have a napkin, paper, a notebook? You're a student, you should have a notebook or I don't even know, a, a leaf or a blade of grass? He really is a psychopath as LG says, who even does this? <laughs> We know the nurse has outcasts, the people who look weird, who pee themselves, wear glasses and in general are too smart for their own good. There's one member who is pretty unique though, while the rest of them read books for educational purposes, Ernest reads them for um, <laughs> entertainment. He actually has porn in his hands and I guess since adult TV channels are most likely blocked in the school he has to resort to <laughs> this book or magazine. Well, he got caught by the man in the suit while Ernest was reading aloud. And really Ernest, I thought you were smarter than this. Read in silence bro, that's how the pros do it. Anyway, his reaction was priceless trying to lie about his homework and hiding it behind his back, that's why I find it very 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 funny. Take me to the hay barn. Hey Ernest, <laughs> what's that oh, you're reading? Oh, nothing, nothing. The opening cutscene of Hattrick vs Galloway. Ah, one of my favorite and one of my most hated teachers. The cutscene will be great. Here are both of them, Gally Bear drinking in class while Hattrick demanding for the alcoholism to stop and saying how much he thinks of the children. You know, despite him taking money off of them for better grades. This is the definition of a hypocrite, guys, right here. The reason I chose it is because of the second part of the cutscene where Jimmy answers the room, he's trying so hard to make Gally Bear stop drinking and at one point he even takes his bottle away. The audience, which means us, thinks his drinking days are over when <laughs> BAM a second bottle, the comedic timing of that threw me in a laughing fit the first time I played this game and that's why it's here. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Meeting Santa Claus in bowls of snow. No, not the real one, of course. Do you think? Do you really think this guy is the real Santa? Get real, guys. He's drunk, he's dirty, he gambles, he pees on the street, and is even a pervert. I just had to place a cutscene with him because of how ridiculous his cutscenes are. I don't even know why Jimmy is helping him. Santa chose this path and he should be left alone. Jimmy is a better man than me, I guess. So just want some extra cash? I like how confident and serious Jimmy is here. He really seems to care and would like to help the bum. Or I guess he hates the rich kids enough that he wants to hurt them, one or the other. Again, we have a perfect comedic timing here when he says, Okay, man, now you're kind of creeping me out. Why, why, why does everyone say that to me? Yes, that was perfect. I wonder why, imposter Santa. Do you guys remember Yusuf Amir? Do you remember how he was number one of my GTA top 10 cutscenes list for the Belt of Gay Tony? Why do you think that was? Because he was acting gangster despite him being as far away from a gangster as I am. Well, in Bully I found Yusuf 2.0, he is called Algy and after this cutscene, why I look at him I see Yusuf. One of the reasons I love both so much, they look ridiculous and are very very funny. Algy even more so since he has his zipper down and his clothes are not proportionate to his body. Also the awkward poses are priceless, it gives us a chance to laugh or to face palm or maybe both. Is this how you guys spend your spare time? 
Seriously, you should be studying in the library, guys, not hanging out with your homies. This is my normal style of rapping, bro. <laughs> and here comes the weirdest mission in the game from the weirdest character apart from Dr. Watts, Mr. Burton in Panty Raid. If we leave this mission aside, since I hate it, we get this incredibly funny cutscene of Mr. Pedophile going out of the adult shop. This guy goes here at night wearing a very clever disguise, a hat and glasses, sunglasses, in the dark. The dummy doesn't even change from his regular clothes. No wonder he's a gym teacher. This alone would give the cutscene a spot on my list, but the way Jimmy handles this situation gives it a few more spots higher. Jimmy is a smart boy and knows how to manipulate those around him. His sarcasm was on point here. He even convinced me for a second. Well, the pervert believes him and really thinks that Jimmy is dumb enough to believe his stories. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! The cook's crush. Who is the cook? It's Edna, of course. No list. Should be absent from Edna. She has the funniest cutscene and you can't change my mind. She is disgusting and that's why she is great. But more on that later. For number 4 I chose the closing cutscene of this mission. The reveal of her gorgeous face is one thing. Even probably gave Jimmy a slight heart attack. But what does it for me is when she drank perfume. She straight up consumed it, man. <laughs> Not on her skin, but actually drank it. No wonder why she has these giant zits on her face. I like seeing her in love. She's so innocent and so confused. She thinks that someone would actually wanna be with her. Well, way to go, Edna. Reach for the stars despite them being so far away from your reach. <laughs> worse than spit! Okay, <laughs> what do you want? And now we move to the final three. Speaking of final, this is the very end of the game when Jimmy and Gary have a little spat on top of the school. This is the scariest and most action-packed cutscene in the entire game. There's nothing funny here, just two boys who wanna battle it out and nothing will stop them. Gary being a sociopath and Jimmy trying to understand Gary's motives. The camera panning is top-notch in this one and I haven't seen it used this well in the past Scenes. The developers really outdid themselves since they made the ending of the game one to remember. I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! Or eventually Mr. Burton is second. But no, it's not the opening cutscene where Jimmy meets Zoe. Sure, that's a good one too. It doesn't deserve a spot though. What does is when the biggest pervert in the game finally got what's coming to him. He got into a porta potty and tumbled down the mountain. All covered in uh, who knows what. Needless to say, he was very sad about the whole situation. You have no idea how much I laughed at this in the past. I still do to an extent, despite knowing what's gonna happen. I've seen this done in movies before and it's always great when it happens to scumbags like this prick. Serves you right, buddy. Don't mess with the best. Oh my god! Corn! I didn't have corn for dinner! Ugh. And here guys, so number one, of course I would choose Edna again. Edna should get all the spots, honestly, since she's all awesome, but alas, too much of Edna is bad news. Here's proof. This is the last minute shopping mission where we meet her for the first time officially. Here we actually see how gross she really could be. She is the cook. She probably cooks for the whole school, including the teachers. Well, what she does with the food in this day and age would put her in jail. Just take a look at that. She intentionally tries to get some bits in it even. Ooh, I bet she doesn't just spit and sneeze in there, but does the unthinkable and maybe even washes her underwear in the pot. The underwear she has had since last term. <laughs> maybe she doesn't even take it off. She dips her big butt in the pot too. Hmm. 
Makes you wonder. <laughs> Sorry for ending in such a gross cutscene, but nothing else can beat it, guys. This is top comedy and this is the top character. Thank you, Edna, for making this game as good as it is with this cutscene. Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. And those are the 10 best cutscenes in Bully Guys, in my opinion. I would love to hear your opinion. Which one do you like the most? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe too. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons Munish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, LMP Racing, House the Chowder, SMRJ, Pari Bruce Lane, Smoke Kyo, and everybody else on the screen. Thank you so much.